Hey guys, it's John here, and I'm just going to show you another way on how to edit um, animations inside of Copper Cube. As you can see, I have Unity pulled up. So once we exported the dot um, ms3d file, you can actually import it into the latest version of Blender. So I'm going to just pull up the splash screen. Uh, my version is uh, Blender 2.77. There we go, Blender 2.77. And all I did was I tapped onto a little button and I pulled up the dope sheet. And this tells us with the little dots when stuff ends and begins. So I'm going to show you this over here. So this is uh, Copper Cube and as you can see from frame 7 to 253 we have our idle, idle animation that is playing right now. And if I go into the dope sheet, you can see we have three groupings and then a whole bunch of dots and then if we go to uh, look right here on the bottom where it says like 105, 110, those are the frames. It's like Think of different sheets of paper basically so right if we zoom in right around 252 to 254 so 253 is when one ends and then on 254 is when another set of animation begins. So I'm going to do them real quick. So we have an idle so the next one after idle is actually going to be walk so we're going to start on 254. So 253, we've ended one animation, and then one frame later, boom, we have another animation. So on, let's just roll a little bit of this animation to see what it's going to be about. So that's walk. So all I'm going to do is add new. So at the plus button. We're going to rename it to walk and we start at uh, 254 pull up blender again and we're going to say okay so we have two groups we're going to go for the closest one and that stops at 291 so 291 and I have it on one frame per second so I could see it but I'm going to speed it up to 30 that's the standard one and then what we're going to do is select a guy inside the game and go to walk and there it is a perfect walk animation so this using free or demo software you can easily um, create a, a video game or help you cre uh, yeah help you create a video game um, yeah it's not like super clean cut the result is still the same it's still going to be clean animations uh, a good character it's you know it's not gonna be anything like bad it may be some extra work though okay and on 292 when we start another animation and that's our swag walk so on 292 so we're gonna create a new one it's gonna be swag walk we're gonna start that on 292 we're going to find out when we stop, so I'm going to zoom out, find it again, zoom in, and click right there. So 376. 376 is when our swag walk ends. Again, we're going to click, uh, click our character, um, and we're going to go to swag walk, and that's at 1 FPS, so we actually have to change that to 30 FPS. We have to reselect him again. Change animation. Go back to swag walk, and there you go. Again, in this uh, viewer, I would like an actual like textured model. It may be able to import like uh, a basic room so we can actually see him in context or something like that. But this works. So that's the swag walk, and that's how you do stuff in Blender. So as you can see, we have. Uh, that's another one, two, three, 
So three animations, so I'm going to finish this out and then we're going to move over to Copper Cube. Um, but I actually really like this way, so you would move him to Mixamo, animate him, use Frag Motion to merge all the animations together, import him into Blender 2.77, uh, where you can see the dope sheet, all the animations, and then you can split up those said animations inside of Copper Cube with its animation editor. You just need to know where it stops and where it begins. It's a little bit of work, but it's not tedious, and depending on, um, especially, you know, on how many animations you have, again, I would like it for it to auto-split the animations, or for you to basically import, um, the, those said animations from FBX. So you import the FBX and then you just import all these uh, a animation files and then you're good to go. Um, and it just merges them like in Frack Motion. But if you want to work on the cheap or for f or you know make a game with a minimal um, cost this is one way how to do it. Okay guys now what we're going to do is I'm going to finish up editing here and then we're going to get into actually making a little scene so we're going to finish up this third person guy, we're going to give him some health, and then we're going to give him a couple of guns to shoot, some ammo to pick up, and then we're going to start working on something basically like this, but dealing with an enemy. We're going to work on AI, and then we're going to work a little, on a little mini game for PC, some web, and Android. So we have a little uh, how to make a, an official game with Copper Keep Game Engine. So I'll see you guys in the next video.